I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn application of remainder theorem. The question here is how to find remainder without division when a polynomial is divided by quadratic function. Example is 2x cubed plus x square minus x plus 3 divided by x square minus 1. Now we can use division statement to solve this particular question. So the function itself which is 2x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 3 could be written as uh, 2x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 3 could be written as. Uh, let me tell you what I'm trying to write here. Uh, let us write the division statement which says that f of x is equal to divisor times the quotient plus remainder, right? So that is what division statement is. Now, what are divisor, quotient and functions? Uh, that is to say, if you divide a function f of x by the divisor d of x, then you will get some remainder and some quotient. And that is how they are related. So, in our case, the function is 2x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 3 and the divisor is x squared minus 1 and we need to find what remainder is right and we also don't know what is the quotient so we will write this particular division statement in that form that is f of x that is this f of x is equal to divisor into quotient right now divisor is given to us as x square minus 1 which I could write as x plus 1 times x minus 1 correct that gives me x square minus 1 so that is a divisor quotient I don't know so I'll write quotient as such uh, plus remainder I don't know so I'll write remainder r of x so that becomes our division statement right so that is what we call division statement Now, if I substitute x as minus 1, then what happens? If I substitute x as equals to minus 1, in that case, what happens? Let me substitute. So, I'll write minus 1 for x. So, we get 2 times minus 1 cube plus minus 1 square minus minus 1 plus 3. So, here I get minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 q of x plus r of x. Now minus 1 plus 1 is 0 right so therefore 0 times q of x will be 0 so we are left with the remainder r of x. On this side we can actually calculate what we get. We get on this side minus 1 q is minus so we get minus 2 right plus because that becomes positive plus 1 and minus minus is again positive so we get plus 1 and plus 3 equals to r of x correct so that is the remainder so what we find here is that the remainder should be equal to uh, 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 minus 2 is 3 so r of x is equals to 3 right so that is one equation okay now let us substitute x equals to plus 1 in that case what happens okay let's do it so it's same equation so we are substituting in this particular equation right that is our division statement okay so let's substitute 1 here so we get 2 times 1 cube plus 1 square minus 1 plus 3 equals to 1 plus 1 1 minus 1 which is 0 q of x so this becomes 0 plus r of x any remainder so this is 2 plus 1 I mean 2 times 1 is 2 and this is plus 1 minus 1 plus 3 equals to all this is 0 so we get r of x and now we get remainder as equals to 2 plus 1 minus 1 we get 5 right so r of x is 5 for us so we get two different equations for solving for remainder right so let me call this equation as equation 1 for us We'll call this equation as 2 for us and this as 3 for us. Okay. Now, one more concept. 
If you are dividing by a quadratic function, what kind of remainder do you expect? Well, it should be linear, one degree lower. So let us say that the remainder is ax plus b, right? So it is linear, one degree lower, right? So we'll replace r of x with the remainder ax plus b, right? So we'll replace r of x with ax plus b as our remainder. And x in the first case was minus one, right? So so since it was minus 1, I'll substitute x as minus 1. I could write this as minus a plus b. In this case, I'm writing 1 as the remainder. So I'm writing this as a plus b. Is it okay? So basically, what we see is that these two equations could now be written as... Let me write them here. So we have 3 equals to minus a plus b and we have 5 equal to a plus b you get it right so a plus b now to find a and b we can add them so if i add them i get 8 equals to 2b or we get b equals to 4 so we get value of b we could subtract them right so if i subtract them so if I subtract, that is 3 equals to minus a plus b and 5 equals to a plus b. If we subtract them, in that case, we get minus 2 equals to minus 2a or 1 equals to a, right? So we get a equals to 1. You could also substitute 4 and find that is true, right? You can substitute 4 for b, find a. You get that same answer. And therefore, we can say our answer is ax plus b is my remainder, where a is 1. So we get x and b is 4. So x plus 4 is the remainder. You get the point. ax plus b. So we can say that the remainder is x plus 4. You get an idea. So that is how you could actually solve for remainder in such a case. When you divide by a quadratic function, then that is the way that you can actually solve for the remainder without doing long division as such, right? And of course, as you have noticed, we could have substituted r of x as ax plus b right in the beginning, right? Right in the beginning, right? And solved and got our solution. You could do this, right? I hope you understand and appreciate the method. Go through it once again. We'll have another practice question where we'll do kind of a shortcut, right? Okay, and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.